Hey everyone and welcome to part 19 of Pokemon Volt Wyatt. Last time we explored Route 6 and we got here to Charstone Cave where Clay Medicine and gave us the TM for Bulldoze. Uh, I went ahead and stopped up on Super Repels, so let's explore Charstone Cave. Whoa, ninjas! What's going on here? Come. What? Oh, I need a ninja escort for like five steps? My Lord N, we brought the one you want. Bye, ninjas! Uh, interesting. Pokey ninjas, huh? Ah, yes. That was the Shadow Triad just now. Gets us enlisted them in the pl team Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared to Galvangelo Mist at the cave entrance. Chartstone Cave. I like this place. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If, this, if people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been chosen, you know? Does it surprise you I said that? Nope. I knew I'd be chosen. Hm. If you don't understand what that means, it's not likely to surprise you. I told Gexus about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used his Shadow Drive to find out about you. Sharon is pursuing the ideal strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that not everyone can become strong. And you are not swayed either way. More of a neutral presence, which is apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Getsus wants to see what kind of trainer you really are. What kind of trainer am I? Hmm. Well, maybe one day I'll find that out for myself. Ah, uh, just kidding. I'm just a guy who wants to have fun. Kind of. Oh, uh, you know what I mean. Let's go to this rock. Hey! Oh, hello. Um. Hey, Bianca. Uh. Okay, you know this? This bloody stone moves when you touch them! Hi, right, Professor! Oh, hello, Professor. It's been a while. We haven't talked since Accumula Down. Hi there! How are you, RK? Uh, I can't do this. This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another. That's why some of the stones are floating. But not all the stones can be pushed. My father asked me how to research Clink, which, po which is a Pokemon that looks like Pekir because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon and the era they happen. Wait, what? He knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, Arcade, this is for you. Yay, lucky eggs! And since six is the magic number, you get six of them. Lucky egg boosts the amount of experience you get by like 1.5, so it's kind of helpful. Um, thanks, Professor Juniper. Let me just push the stone. The way this works is basically you have to push the stone in the direct direction of this electric rock, otherwise it'll just not move. Like, if I pushed it like this, it would just kind of nod at me. It it's shaking at me. Like, it's like shaking no. I'm, I don't know. Do that, push it towards the stone. Oh, this is helpful. Let me see uh, if I can... Yeah, cool, Psychic Gem. The way this works is, in the shaking spot, not, you can't, you can find Pokemon or you can find gems. Gems will boost the power of whatever type they are by a certain amount. I think about 1.5 or something like that. Hello, Mad Scientist Guy, what do you want from me? Wait, I want, kind of want to challenge you. This cave is full of rocks generating electricity. The electricity is charging me up. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the charging up thing. Let's go around here, pick up this item, and... Damn it, Repel's effect wore off. Eh, uh, whatever. I'll just go ahead and... I have other Repel's! Woohoo! Where, where is it? There it is. Uh, times like this where I miss the black and white 2 thing where it's just like, Oh, Repel wore off! Wanna use another? Yes, I always want to use Repel... Oh, hello, Ace Tanner guy, what's up? I will test you to see whether you have what it takes to aim for the Pokemon League. glad you can see. Now, stop shaking at me! Anyway, why are you testing me for the Pokemon League? I don't know. You're testing me for the Pokemon League, I don't know, after my fifth gym badge? 
Man, I still have three more gym badges to go, and you're worried about the Pokemon Lee? You need to slow down. Whoa. What? what? What are you guys doing here now? Hi there, did you find something? I think we're just about done collecting data. The cave has been around since this past, passed, but data to prove that Clink exists more than 100 years ago can't be found, so that must mean Clink suddenly appeared 100 years ago! <gasps> Gasp! It just... appeared. No, what, okay? How come they're mysterious? I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Yeah, well, considering the fact that we use them as slaves for battling all the time, I wonder that too. Hello, hiker guy. You know what? I'm too lazy to talk to you. I'm just gonna go down here. Repulse effect wore off. Ah, well, no big deal. I can walk a few steps without being. Uh oh. Whoa! Hello! Ninjas again! What? The Their walking animation is so weird. They're like taking a. They're like take. I don't know. They're... Their feet are moving really quickly. There are stairs. Going down ahead, Team Plasma's waiting for you there. I guess I need an escort across the bridge. Hyper potions! Nice, nice. Uh. Put that down there, use another repel so I don't run into these wild Pokemon that always like to interrupt me when I'm ranting about something. Or just. Not ranting, commenting. Oh, it's a mad lady scientist. Hey, I saw your husband down there. I love this place, the electricity charges up my inspiration. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, could someone please explain to me what Ferrothorn is supposed to be based off of? Seriously, it's... It's... I don't know what it... Is... It's obviously something... It's something with thorns. Logic. Uh, whatever. I guess... It's based on something. Don't... Okay, or... Uh, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. I want to put Crystal up in front because I haven't really been giving her any training. Mostly because... Um, before this, I didn't, I was too lazy to use repels, actually, I wanted to save my repels for this area, so well, the thing was, actually, oh, you know what, first, let's talk to these guys! Hi, we're the Nugget Brothers, I'm the Big Brother, and I'm the Little Brother of the Nugget Brothers. Glad you showed up, I want you to give, I want to give you this, will you get a Nugget? I want to give you this too! Another Nugget, yeah, free Nuggets, free Nuggets everywhere! And we're probably back for us. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start using super. What am I doing? Oh my god. Okay. Down, down, down. Uh. Wait, shouldn't it be right here? What? Where did my? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Two hundred steps is better than one hundred, I guess. Uh, dowsing machine. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. How these, how the those little stones. Like, move when you move under them. I'm surprised you don't get shot from that. But the thing about the Nugget Brothers is they're probably they're probably really generous because they're literally giving us free gold. HP up there. I'm not really sure why it came up here. I don't think it was worth looking at. Ah, whatever. Okay, so we're done with. We found treasure in Charged Stone Cave! Rather than bugs and clinks and gears and other type of Pokemon you can find here. Uh, by the way, if you. The if you have like a nose pass or something and you want to evolve it, you have to you have to evolve it here. So I think that works for Magnemite and Nose Pass. Magneton actually, but whatever. Timer Ball increases catch increases probability of catching Pokemon the more turns it takes. God I'm really bad at explanations. Hello doctor, can you heal my Pokemon? If you like, I will make your Pokemon healthy. However, let me challenge you to a battle first. Um, sure. I'm not sure if that's how Doctor is supposed to work, but it's better than paying money. 
Uh, Doctor, that Pokeball is, uh, can't have a pulse. May I inquire as to where you got your medical school degree or whatever it is that allowed you to practice? I'm kind of afraid of handing over my Pokemon to a guy who deals... To a guy who checks Pokeballs for heartbeats. Just saying, it's pretty, uh... I don't know, I, I'm really not sure what to say, and- Oh, it was a speed tie! Great! I guess I'm slower than a Reuniclus, considering I'm three levels ahead of him, anyway. Uh... Okay, let's go. Let's go, Deagle! I'm sure you're faster than this mitotic cell thing. I'm still not sure what exactly- Oh, it's a cell! It's all, that's pretty obvious. And, oh, you gotta be kidding me! That- that was painful. That was very painful. I'm going- I don't want pain to be split. I want you to feel all the pain. Don't you get it, Doctor? No, you don't. Too busy feeling pulse- uh, heartbeats of a Pokeball. Oh, that's fine by me, I guess. I'll just crunch your Uniclus. Seriously- Oh. Oh, okay, that was kinda close. And- Oh, come on! Really? You're, you're gonna be- you're gonna do the gym leader thing on me? Where you just use items like that? Do you see me using items, doctor? Just because you're- just because you're rich, because you're a doctor, you think you have the right to use items? Well, let me tell you something. We live in a free- well, we live in a free society where ten-year-olds can go on a bench- on life-changing adventures and their moms don't even care, okay? I have the right to use items too, but I don't. Now you- uh, okay, I guess you're not listening to me, are you? Well, that's all good. I guess my Pokemon got healthy, and oh yeah, the repels effect wore off. Well, my commentary died there for a moment, but it doesn't matter because we're going from like battle to battle here. You, you came here because someone manipulated you. If you can win against me, I'll tell you the secret. What secret? What's going on here? How am I manipulating? You're. Shadow Tribe people literally told me that you were waiting here, and that I had to come and face you. And so did your leader, or king, whatever you want to call him. So how was that manipulating? Please, explain this to me. Or do I have to battle you first? Alright, I'm pretty sure I can beat a, crocod a crocodile with sunglasses any day, but I don't want to beat it with a giant rock. Because... Eh, basic Pokemon typing matchups. At Swagger, you think you're cool or something? You think you're cool? Well, you know what? I got something to show you. I am not going to smack myself in the- Wait, how do I hurt myself in confusion anyway? Does Deagle, like, peck herself, or does it, like, slap herself with her wings when she hurts herself in confusion? Ah, whatever. That is what I got to say about your swagger, cro croc rock Not even a crocodile yet, and you think you got swagger? You're not cool enough to have swagger. Ah, the scrap. Okay, let's go, Mr. Samurott. I always thought I always thought Scrafty was like bulky-ish. It's one of those weird Pokemon. Okay, Scrafty, we really need to fix this problem. Uh, if you want, I can take you to a clothing store, but the loose pants—it's really not helping you. That it's not helping. Oh, looks looks like I killed you before I could take you to the mall. Go to Sears or Macy's or someplace where they have good jeans or maybe some shorts if you really want to wear shorts. But seriously, the loose, the pull, the. The, uh, I, my pants don't, the, my pants are too big for me look just doesn't look good on you. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I bet it mips. I bet you think it looks cool, don't you? I bet you can use swagger just like that Crocorock can. What am I saying? I don't know. That's what happens when you battle key people like Team Plasma. If I win against you, release your Pokemon! Okay, time to re- 
uh, put back up my, put up my super repels. And, uh, you know what? I'm going back to... Hey, what's up, Doc? Get the reference? Heh <laughs> okay. Um... Yep, okay. Whatever doctors do. Uh, we have to battle every single one of these Team Plasma goons. I'm probably gonna speed- I'm just gonna speed this whole thing up, I just wanna get this over with. So, see you guys in a few moments. That was a ton of battles. Before I go back uh, for a moment, I want to come down here. What? I believe. Wait, hold on a sec. I believe this is the base second floor, so you can actually catch a legendary Pokemon. It is Zapdos, indeed. I'll go ahead and put the information up in the sidebars. I believe it's just it's like a one percent chance to catch it on a normal space. 
So if you're lucky, you might find it. Now, I'm going to be right back because I want to heal up before the next battle, which you guys will soon see. So see you guys in a moment. Hey, I'm back. And, uh, so right now, you could go down there and there is a legendary encounter that you could have. It's, uh, Zapdos, obviously. Well, maybe obviously, but... Yeah, I'll put the- I'll go ahead and put the information on the sidebars while I'm walking up these stairs after defeating Team Plasma. Now, we do have a boss battle because, as Zen said, he is waiting for us here. So I got all my team together. Let's go on and walk over here and greet our friend N. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people. Black and white will cl clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Okay, do you have a dream of your own? Sure. You have dreams? That's wonderful. Or you have a dream? That's wonderful. I'll learn what kind of dream you have in battle. Um. Okay, and you can learn about my dream through my Pokemon somehow. Anyway, and he has every single form of Grotom. That is about it. I mean, I, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have movesets. I have nothing on this guy. I do know that this Rotom has Substitute, Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Ball, and I believe Thunderbolt, but I'm not sure about the fourth move. Uh, that was based on experimentation from last time I played, and that's just based on what I remember. Please don't use Will-O-Wisp. Thank you, N. Thank you for not using Will-O-Wisp. Uh, I don't know if this will break us up now that I'm burnt, because... Yeah, oh yeah, okay, it broke this up, I'm happy. Uh, actually, I want to save... Uh, what do I do? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna go on the pants here, because I want to save Crystal for a reason. Because he does have other forms of Rotom, and they all have Levitate, except for... What you call it? Except for his... Except for Rotom Fan. Rotom Fan's just funny. They give it Levitate and Flying type moves. Hilarious. And then if you guys play Showdown, it, in Showdown it's given an Air Balloon. That Octo Immunity to Ground is too powerful. Uh, anyway. Why would you use- I'm a Deerling, okay? You know what? You're gonna get beat by a Deerling, man. I'm, I'm too- I'm too strong. See, I will- Oh, okay. Discharge! There's that move I didn't know. And you didn't even beat me! Ha, ah, loser. Loser. I call you a loser. I'm like level 29 and you still can't beat me. If you go for substitute next- Okay, good. Okay, so we're- And they- the crit. Oh my god, it's too strong. Anyway, um, the reason I wanted to save Gigalith, if I hadn't said also already, I don't think I have actually. Uh, he has smack- Chi, I'm sorry, has smackdown. And that will be very useful considering every single one of these guys are immune to ground, and I could give get rid of that immunity and allow Um what am I saying? Allow Mirage to hit them with dig. Because I don't think he switches out. Uh I'm assuming this is gonna be Rotom Freeze, so I'll go ahead and switch out to Crystal now. Uh I was right, it's the fridge! I'm I'm so threatened. And also, yeah, that's kind of one of those reasons why I set up Stealth Rocks. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can take it out with just one- WHY WOULD YOU THUNDER- Okay, whatever you say. If I get Parahax now, I'll be really angry, but sure. Uh, really? Okay, fine. Well, then I'll just go for the Smackdown. You, or not Smackdown, Rock Slide. Should be down about one- Whoa, that did way too much damage. Okay, you know what, Rotom? Prepare to die. There we go. That's how I like my Rotom. Dead. Okay, Rotom Freeze is done, so we're done with the refrigerator, we're done with the regular Rotom. I'm guessing this is gonna be the washing machine. Uh, what do I do with this one? I don't know what to do. There's nothing. Alright, let's go, Razor Blade. I have faith in you. I have faith. Okay, so this is gonna be the washing machine. You know what? I'm gonna beat the- WHAT?! IT'S NOT THE WASHING MACHINE! Okay, this is bad. I don't want to get Leaf Stormed in the face like that. 
Ah, uh, I should have kept. I should have kept. Oh great, that that's this is not gonna end well for me. I can see this. Man, these forms of Rotom are too strong. Oh wait, wait, I have Rodge. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Set up the Dragon Dance because yeah, I'm too good for you. Oh my God, dragons and the resistances. I wouldn't survive if not for that. Please. Ah, this is why Rotom Mo is not viable, man. Okay, watch. I'm not gonna defeat it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use items. Okay, I'm gonna be as cheap as that doctor down there is. I'm gonna be using hyper potions and all that good stuff. Uh, this can't kill me. Two, minus four in special attack, but definitely won't kill me. Okay, let's go with the... I don't think he actually... I don't think he switches out, so I'm actually pretty good with this. Hyper potion, bring me back up. I might be able to set up again. <laughs> Who knows? Energy, energy... Why would you use the- Oh, uh, well, you would've survived. I guess that is true. Alright, time to set up again. This is the only way I know how to beat this guy. This is the same way I beat him last time. Last time I had Hex- Uh, Fracture? So I just Dragon Danced and won this battle by that. I'm literally- You have confused- You use that now? Ugh. Why do- Why can't you be dumb? I mean, sure, it wouldn't be much of a challenge, but, you know, I guess I need a little dumb every here and there. Ah, uh, whatever. We're done with the remote thing. So, none of his team's a threat to me now. I've disposed of any threat to signal beam. No! It's a special attack. I don't like special attack. You have a minus special attack nature. Fly God! Mirage, whatever I call you. Oh, hey, it's the uh, quad immunity to ground. And in this game, it has motor drive. So, you hit it with an electric move, it'll speed up. But I have no use for a fan anyway. Well, actually I do, it's kinda hot here, but who cares? You can duh. What? So how many Rotoms do I have left? I have heat, I have wash. So here's the toaster. This is the one I don't need. I'm just dragon clawing my way. I'm gonna hit myself now, aren't I? Holy shoot. I've never seen hacks go this way for me before. I'm really surprised. Uh, well, not, not that I'm complaining or anything, but hey. I'm happy. And then we have the overused washing machine. I will show that my love for my friends permeate- what? what? Permeate something but the- uh, whatever. Another Dragon Claw- wow, I'm very impressed. Thank you, Mirage. <laughs> I am so lucky. Eh, sweat, kind of. Now Mirage is the strongest member on my team, but oh well. Special attack plus three. Team Plasma- eh. My friend's getting hurt, that's what a Pokemon battle is. And why do you battle if you're like, Oh, my friends get hurt, I can't battle. Then why do you battle? Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue the truth in something as meaningless as a battle? As if it could take me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon? RK! What? Hello? Just a little further to Miss Jordan City! Um, why are you guys drawing? Hey, you're joining us. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard RK's voice from that far away. RK, who is that trainer? This trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. Well, the very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. <laughs> oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> Your opinion is understandable, it happens to be very different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people got to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're you're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want, treat Pokemon however they want, no matter what whether Pokemon suffer. I refuse to tolerate the world existence of a world like that. Bye and thank you for joining the Professor Juniper fan club. We hope you have a nice day. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go select a little more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn more about them. Okay, goodbye. Bianca's going with you, I'm supposed to. I'm RK! I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now, because I'm her bodyguard! Um... I guess she couldn't have done better than that, could she? Anyway, I think with about almost a half-hour video of... You know, me going through that cave... I think we're pretty good with this episode, so next time we'll go ahead and explore Mistralden City. See you guys then.